Okay, so in this question, we're once again given the graph itself. They tell us to consider this graph, and the question actually wants us to find the equation of this graph. Okay, so let's just go through through that again. Okay, let's see where is our center. Where is our center? Now, again, this graph can have more than one representation. I can, for example, take that as my center, and then it's a cos graph. Or I can take that as my center. Uh, sorry, I can, for example, take that as my center, then it is a sine graph. Sorry, okay, because sine starts on the center line. Or I can take that as my center, and it's a cos graph. If it's a sine graph, and since the center is not on the y-axis, it means it is it had a horizontal shift. Uh, so the sine graph we had to consider a horizontal shift. If it's a cos graph, there's no horizontal shift. So we're going to look at the cos um, cos example. So first of all, if we look at our center line, we see that x is equal to zero. So there's no horizontal shift, and we see that cos of zero plus something times something is equal to three and a half. Okay, is equal to three and a half. So it's a little bit difficult to know what was it multiplied with and what was added in order to get there. But we know that what comes in front here is the amplitude. Okay, so that should be an x. So the amplitude is how high it goes above the center line and we know that this is the center line okay so that's not so difficult so if we take y is equal to a cos p times x minus b we see since the center is on the x-axis there's no sh horizontal shift okay plus C so B this B is zero so this thing we can already in our next step say well okay we know there's no horizontal shift looking at the center so this must be zero so it's just P minus X minus zero so it's just P X plus C and uh, now we can see okay the amplitude is one unit okay from two and a half to three and a half. So the amplitude is just equal to one. So this is equal to y is equal to cos px plus c because here we can say b is equal to zero because a is equal to actually the absolute value of a is equal to one. Okay. Isn't it maybe negative? Well if it was negative we would have started at below the center line so no it's not negative it's positive so we can leave the absolute values out okay and say well a is one we know it's one because it's starting above the center line okay now we just need to find p and c c being the center line we see well here's the center line that's a two and a half okay y is equal to two and a half is the center line okay so that's what we have there y is equal to cos p x plus two and a half cool Okay, because C is equal to two and a half. And finally, P. How are we going to find P? Well, we know that if we can find the period, okay, if we can find the period, the period is 360 divided by the absolute value of P. Now, for cos, it doesn't matter whether P is positive or negative. We can just always choose, choose the positive. Okay, so let's have a look at... Uh, at what was 360 divided with first of all if we had 360 if this was 360 and it was divided into 4 then the first position the point going from here to reaching my first point 360 divided by 4 gives me 90 so I, I'm supposed to only get there if my period was 360 okay, reach the center line but I'm already reaching my center line at this point that is at 30 so I'm reaching it three times quicker a third of the time or oh, well, I hope you understand it like that with me okay so actually I see that my period how how long does it take to to make a complete cycle well let's take it from here up 
down, up. In other words, from negative 30 degrees up to 90 degrees. That's 120. So my period is 120. So what is P? So that 360 divided by P gives me 120. Well, P is equal to 3. That's just another way of looking at it. Or you could have seen, well, I should have uh, only met my center line at 90 degrees. Now I'm already meeting it at 30 degrees. So it must mean things are happening three times quicker. So X is being multiplied with a 3. Or you could just find the period by seeing how long does it take to make one complete cycle and then substituting into this equation and solving P. Both ways gave us that P is equal to 3x plus 2,5. And that's it.